Hey guys! So it's a little bit different today. Maybe you notice in my web camera that I have actually a bookcase behind my back. Uh, I have rearranged my room to make room for my work computer. So I actually got that shipped from the office yesterday, so I've set it up behind me. Um, and yeah, it's very very dark Aslan. <laughs> hello Bronze, hello Aslan and hello Kiani san Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's very very dark Aslan as you pointed out. But uh, this is what I had to do, like as a temp uh, solution for uh, having like three desks in this room right now. Uh, originally I had two desks, uh, one for the computer and one for like, I don't know, drawing, um, fiddling around with small stuff or reading and, you know, anything else that doesn't need a computer. Um, so now it's three desks in here and uh, one of them is mainly just to make sure that my uh, work setup is uh, actually working, so yeah. Um, might be that the microphone now will uh, pick up sound from the outside. The microphone is next to the window now, instead of being as far as away as possible from the window. So uh, there is a lot of cars and different sounds from the street, so just you guys know if you hear something that is odd in the background. Um, so yeah, my... I just moved everything recently, so not everything is correctly plugged in at the moment, but Maya and everything else works. That's all we need, right? Oh, hello, Ras and uh, Venono. And look at that. <laughs> Have a Rax. Thank you. Seven months. That's, uh, that's a long time. Man, it feels like you were... you just joined recently. Random noise shouldn't be a, not be a problem. <laughs> well, Asla, I don't know. Depends on what type of noise there is. Uh, I noticed like there is a lot of traffic and stuff outside. Like that noise is leaking through the window uh, usually, but it's not, you know, picking up that otherwise. So I haven't changed the settings. Who will see uh, if it uh, picks it up? I have no idea. It feels like three months ago, Abrax. Yeah, it does, right? It's like when people are pointing out that I've been streaming for a while now. I'm like, no, oh, I started like a month ago, right? Um, but yeah, it's been... Uh, has it been like two years? 2018, almost. I think summer it's been like two years. Hello, Sam! Remote work going? Well, the remote work, at least remote desktop, didn't go too well for me uh, because something was up with, uh, with like my home computer. I don't think it could handle that uh, remote work that well. It was kicking me out from remote desktop, so I have my uh, work computer behind me. Um, so hopefully it will be better tomorrow. How is everyone doing? Um, I am going to continue on the saddle, uh, Dr. Saddleback today, the Archan piece. I noticed that there was someone else uh, in Discord that was also doing this one. Uh, so it's gonna be nice to see someone else finish the same piece as me for once. I always, like, randomly end up with the one that no one picks, so... Um, also seen that uh, a lot of people have got a lot of work done as well, if we take a look in here. There's like some really nice progress going on. It's really cool to see. You guys are way faster than me as well, so <laughs> this is also gonna be a project that won't be ended in, uh, in time. Oh, 
Is the quarantine kicking your butt, uh, Brax? Then, you know, if you're all not doing the medic box... Well, actually, people are doing some other things as well now. Almost everyone is doing the medic box. Aras, you getting distracted? You hate working from home. Aw, man. <laughs> Runs, don't worry, you still way ahead of me. <laughs> oh, you haven't started yet, have you, Bronze? Yeah, I don't know, the remote, remote... I guess like working from home in general, except for like that my setup didn't really work, it's, it's fine, but... It is pretty lonely, I must say. Um, I miss you strolling around in the in the office, like in the corridors, and saying hi to people. Just going like hi to random strangers and also to colleagues. So that is something I do miss a lot. Um, I'm gonna open my pure here as well. So we have some references to work from. Distractions, I can agree with, but. I don't know, I'm not really getting distracted by everything else, like, at home. It's more like... I would say it's more frustration on my part, being locked in the world than um, distraction. I just... I just want to go outside and do my regular routines, I guess. That That's the boring and hard part right now. Finding new routines to work with that's going to... You know, in the meantime, just work instead of the regular routines. It's pretty hard, especially working out when you don't really have equipment. Everyone, just pretend you're in a white collar prison and just utilize this time to become a savage. <laughs> Aww. Hello Daniel, how are you doing? Daniel, you miss your 9 kilometer walks every day? That's a pretty far walk to do every day though. Oh Avrax, you need to see people, you don't like being alone. But do you guys have web cameras? Because that's what people are saying are like the best coping mechanism right now to hang out with people you know with webcams actually they are sold out here in, uh, in Sweden I heard or at least in Stockholm you can't really get any right now um, well, I started um, just jumping between subjects here <laughs> telling you that's what I'm actually having having a mind to do this work today and chit chatting at the same time and um, you know that I did the, the block out for the saddlebag um, been working on that for a while but I feel pretty done with it it's not like I can do that much more and I figured out the, the scale issues with the, the locking mechanism here and um, <clears throat> I'm going to refine it a bit more. Uh, we are going to do some sculpting. Um, it's just that I don't want to start sculpting on this bag and I think some of the parts here will be faster to do in Maya, like the general shape of it because it's quite boxy. So I'm gonna do that, start adding some loops, thickening some of the parts that need to be a little bit more thick in order to sculpt on them. And so on and so, so forth. So I guess like preparing the mesh and cleaning it up a little bit before we actually start doing the proper high poly work. You can totally do body weight stuff at home. You've been doing 100 push-ups and dead bugs every single day. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I am doing some uh, crossfit at home. I have a kettlebell and some um, resistance band. Uh, so I'm using them and you know, you can use I guess your shares to do dips and stuff like that um, So it works 
but I still find it hard to get that sweat going as I want to and my place to work out. I don't like to work out in my own living room, so... Um. Oh, Daniel, you stuck in World of Warcraft? Please help. <laughs> Just stop playing it if you don't like to do it. Don't do it, Daniel. You have a laptop camera, Slim, but it sucks. I, uh, I figure that, like, if you have an old laptop, I guess the cameras on those are not that good. Whereas you only be doing voice chat. Well, then people can't see you, right? If you if you want to see people, you need to. Get a web camera or something similar, I guess. Oh, four to six kilometers a day. Oh, that sounds more reasonable than in there, actually. Ask crying really hard can help the house. <laughs> always so, always so dark and depressive. So this uh, this side is just the box that I had before, um, as you can see. The thing that I'm doing here right now is to try to figure out how they actually made the leather. And I can see that they have like folded it around itself, like cut it out. Like the main body seems to be cut out from the one part and then they just like make, make I guess made cuts in it, like origami, and then stitch it together, so... Uh, looking at... When it's folding out like that, is that... I think actually this one do have a part like I have here, and then that flap is fo like folding out together with the... Um, other part, but I can't see the bottom on this one, so it's a bit hard to tell. Oh no, maybe it's not. No, no, that can't be. Maybe it has both, maybe it has a flap and folding. Because it looks so clean. <sighs> Let's not do the flap here, but we just complicate things when we are like actually folding this part out. Just use this one then, I guess. Do any of you think you have uh, COVID, the virus, as you had flu-like symptoms for five, six days? Oh, so you've been inside for at least another 16 days. Damn. That's, um, but you're doing okay, right? I assume. You seem to be alive at least. Did 
the mortars giving you acute stress. <laughs> you having issues? Moons, uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Rast, you seem to be alive at least. It's the new hello of 2020. <laughs> oh no, too soon, Rast, too soon. Uh, Frost, thank you for the follow. Seems like the bevel on this one is quite big, so that's probably fine. Uh, Denimir, you never had a flu before? What? I had it plenty of times, it's awful. Uh, but you haven't taken the flu vaccine either. Oh, Washington State, where you live, just declared a mandatory indoor lockdown for the next two weeks anyway. So you ordered two Excel pizzas yesterday and made sure to wear gloves and masks and not pass anything to the driver. Wow, that's... But can you go out and do grocery shopping? Or at least if people are... I mean, I guess not you because you're sick, but... You can have friends maybe buying you stuff, right? Oh, you're having friends doing a grocery run for you. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it feels like a... a Sci-fi movie sometime like it's odd all of these uh, lockdowns and so on it feels like part of a movie almost It feels like Metro 2033. <laughs> oh, and Avrax and Ras, you guys are talking about a doom. was also released quite recently, right? Too bad I don't really play games. <laughs> 
perfect time to change that. <laughs> I don't know, is Animal Crossing, like, he looks cute, but I don't know, it feels like dead time to me, like... It's just to simulate the brain and then, like, what do you gain from it? Like, do we actually get anything from playing Animal Crossing? I don't know. I get very easily bored, so yeah. I love playing games before, but recent like past years I just can't muster myself to do like play anything really. Um, I started playing a little bit of World of Warcraft together with some friends on Monday, like for two hours, and that's that's my game time, I guess. I do see why people think it's fun though, playing Animal Crossing and do and stuff, it's just not really... I don't know, I get stressed out <laughs> for some reason. Give it a week, if the hype is still there, the game might be good. <laughs> Feeling of progression in Animal Crossing is god tier. The fishing in that game is kinda lit though. <laughs> I don't know. Why should I sit and play a game to do some fishing in a game? There's so many games that have fishing as well. It's just like, what do I possibly gain from sitting and fishing in a game? I don't get it. Like, it's stressing. Aras, you know the feeling kind of feels like it requires energy now? Yeah, I think that's it actually. I, It feels like it's draining my energy rather than actually giving energy. So people are feeling relaxed. That's what I also did before. But now I'm just like, I just feel tired. I can fall asleep when I'm playing games because it's just tiresome, I guess. Oh, thank you for the subscription! Uh, I really appreciate it. You don't really hang out in chat though, so that's surprising. You would like to introduce yourself, maybe? The main thing in Animal Crossing though is interior design. Oh. Can't you do that with, like, the sense then? You were browsing Discover. Oh, well, I might popping up there now as well. I didn't know. Well, welcome. And thank you. What do I want to do with this? I think I just want to turn this one into a high poly because it's so simple anyway. Some of these like blockouts will be good to just turn into high poly models and some of them I guess we're just gonna have to redo a little bit. Okay. 
guess that's it for that one. Oh, uh, this is a personal project. Actually, so uh, I'm running an art jam in my uh, uh, Discord server. And... Uh, oh, Havrax, thank you, linking it. So um, that's what we are doing right now. So it's just like an art jam. Anyone can participate if they like. Um, it's basically making one of these concepts. You have a vial, you have this, um, I guess it's a medical box. That's what people have been referring it to. And then you have the doctor's saddlebag. So these are the three assets, like you can either do them realistic or you can do a stylized interpretation. Like it's just, it needs to um, look like you used the reference for it at least, like resemble it in some way. Uh, so. That's why the title of my stream is um, called Art Jam, because I'm also partaking in the Art Jam, I guess. Um, and I'm doing the Dr. Saddlebag, and a lot of people here are doing the um, Doctor's... Oh, Abrax, what's that? Oh, you just forgot to get in the server voice. Voice box. <laughs> Okay, it's a box with um, poison, apparently. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's what we are working on. Everyone is doing a prop for uh, the art jam, like a challenge. Uh, creative expression Animal Crossing is insane. Okay. And it's not the same as Sims because the things you unlock for your island and home in Animal Crossing is pretty limited per day. You also have things you can only get from other people's islands, etc. Oh, so it's like a trading thing then? You trade stuff? You have to become rich. <laughs> Man, it sounds like real life. You have to get money in order to live. Uh, well, I did try, I think it was a few years ago, Animal Crossing on um, mobile phone. Uh, I did not like it, but maybe maybe not. that's not the same thing as... Um, as the real deal, I guess. I don't want to say mobile games are not the real deal, because they are, but it's just the main game was on uh, DS, so... You level 45 on Animal Crossing mobile game, but it's definitely not the same. Okay, because that game was really boring and I'm sorry. It's just... Nah, I didn't get it. Hmm. 
newbie newbie three yard question why did you have to add all the horizontal edge loop to that piece oh navrax i got this <laughs> okay subdivision support that is indeed correct um so this is like more old school modeling i would say you can see how it has like sharp edges is. edges is. Ooh, edges um and without the support edges they turn round like this but with the support edges they don't um if i only add in the corner of this one which one would be like well that should be enough right it's going since the distance on this one is really large here it's gonna try to um get the i guess the medium in between these lines so when i subdivide here you're gonna see how they jump really far so the softness of the edge is going to be a little bit different and you can also see that you get some fall off artifacts um like it's almost the same as with this one but if you have more support when you are um, actually subdividing it it helps also um, if you want to sculpt on it later on in the ZBrush. If you don't want to turn it into like a random topology in ZBrush where it starts adding all of these like edges, um, you can do it beforehand in Maya, uh, which will be more helpful, especially because I don't want to have new topology on stuff that is fairly simple and straight because it can actually. Um, I guess mess up the topology for me and make create other artifacts that I don't want to have. Hey, <laughs> Avrax, you got 10, 10 points, good boy points for that. If it's old school bronze, well, there are new tricks with this and uh, you don't really need to do this. I can just jump straight into ZBrush, right? And use Dynamesh and then uh, like, don't use the um, subdivision. You also have like creasing. Um, subdivision is like one of the older or oldest way of modeling. Otherwise you can just go and say that you wanna crease the edges instead. Um, then you don't have to add any edge support at all, which means that you don't kind of, like you have a cleaner base. And if I then want to do a low poly, I don't have to go and clean up all the lines. So the creasing is actually better in that sense, because you already have your low poly basically, and you don't have to start messing up the underlying base topology. So I would say like both of them are still valid. I am still using a subdivision modeling, because I prefer that, because I hate creases, but... Uh, creasing can be like more non-destructive, I would say, than uh, what this is. But yeah, everyone is modeling a little bit different from each other, so there is no right and wrong, actually. Whatever you need to get to the end result, because you just want to have like, um, either you want to have a sculpt base for uh, to sculpt on in ZBrush, or you want to have just a high poly, and uh, just a high poly might be just sufficient with having uh, only the support edges uh, cl uh, close to the border. But since I want to have sculpt support, I'm adding all of these edges as, as well. So, as I said, there is not really any right and wrong, just like different way of execution, I would say, and you will end up basically with just baking something to a low poly in the end for games. I'm not sure how they do in the movie industry. I think it's more important there to have a good topology for the base. But I am very unsure about that. Mm. I was gonna do this one, right? Uh, thank you for the follow as well. 
Met een uh, ledertje en masmalt. Pass the level up to Christ. <laughs> Ras, turn in your modeler's badge and stylist. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for following me there. <laughs> but I guess you really didn't you follow last time. Are you just trying to get attention? Um, but then, yeah, good luck. You're off. Oh, thank you for popping by and saying hello and the follow and the subscription. I will post in Discord when it's done. I think everyone will in the submit tab. So, uh, Mosmod, how long is the art jam is running for? Uh, I think we set the deadline for. For, for, let's see, 26th of April. So it's running for two months. Um, but I guess now at this date in March, it's like one month left. So it has been running for um, two months. We started working on the inside, so it's not really showing as much. Oh, you're very welcome to uh, join us. The more the merrier. Also, it's just fun. Like, it gives you the extra boost when other people are putting in hard work. Like every day when I'm opening Discord, it's like something new there. So I'm like, oh, I should uh, I should get in some uh, work on my things or I will actually fall behind. <laughs> so um, yeah, and in this pace, I am really falling behind. So when it comes to this one, I guess it should be enough to add one here, at least to support the edge a little bit more. But now it's very thinning. It's thinning out a lot. Um, how do I want to do this? I feel it should be thicker, so... to the border and here we have some uh, issues because of the 
through, of course. Now it looks a little bit more supportive to have this like weird angles or like more stiffer angles and not just drooping that much because the leather is thicker. I think that works better. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make sure that this one is resting a little bit more on top of each other. Are you hungry again? Anyone ever made homemade mac and cheese? I was wondering if I should make a blonde or brown roux. I have no idea what you're talking about, like blonde or brown roux. Is it like if it's gonna be yellow sauce or brown sauce? <laughs> I have no idea. It's just, I guess, pasta with cheese, right? Or is there anything else to mac and cheese? It's basically pasta with cheese. Rooks is just like a thickening agent, really made with flour and fat. So when you add cheese to that, you get that sauce. Oh. Almost Stasho Zero. Uh, is, it, is it me or the strand la strand? stream lagging a bit? Is it? I would be sad. Maybe it's all that uh, HD uh, Netflix data people are <laughs> using right now across the continents. But that's sad if there is a lot of lag. Hello Magnus! How are you go doing? Going? Doing, I mean. You keep forgetting I'm starting earlier now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys that I have to start earlier. I need to sleep. I have no better excuse than that. Mm. Brown roux tastes better, but it's less appetizing looking, I guess. Somehow the whole idea for me with having cheese on my pasta and, and that, I know, like, parmesan is quite nice to like just have a little bit on top of it, like grating it, that's fine. But holes, like just thick sauce with cheese in pasta, it just feels very, I don't know, heavy? 
Like, I can't even feel like a lot of cheese on pizza gets too much, so... Yeah, doesn't really sound like a dish for me, actually. stiff leather leather look I think this is actually better and maybe opening it up a little bit more this one however we need to Maybe it should actually rest on this piece a little bit more. <laughs> Ras is like, you better stop now. Talking about food and stuff that I don't like with food that you guys obviously love. <laughs> Half works, you put five kilos on your pasta, you have no tolerance for cheese. <laughs> If I prefer, oh, oat, oat, oh, okay, not out, oat or soy milk waffles, you have questions. <laughs> I prefer crispy waffles and I would say that oat of waffles tastes a little bit better than soy milk waffles. Like, oat milk is a little bit less sweet than soy milk, I would say, and because you're already adding, like, jam and whipped cream on it, like you don't want it to be too sweet, right? But I assume that you're asking about Swedish waffles right now, Aslan, and not like Belgian waffles and stuff, because they are very sugary. Those I don't want eat, it's too much, too much sugar. say now actually. Another two. Then we have uh, this thing that kinda ended up behind everything now. And this one. So this one is actually part of this letter piece, at least if I look in the picture, it's sewn together with the rest. Then I guess it would actually be better to just... 
remove it and attach it maybe with this one. I'm gonna duplicate this one and hide one just in case I start destroying things for myself. Has like maximum crisps on those waffles and less sugar. Was it Oblivion music? Maybe it was. Let me check for you. It was from Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. And now it's Primal. What's the difference between a Swedish waffle and a Finnish waffle? Are there even waffles in Finland? That's my question. I <laughs> was hoping if there, we would have an argument about the Finnish thing again. Oh, but Dutch, they... They eat pancakes more than waffles, right? It's like more Belgian style eating waffles. Or maybe it's just me being stereotypical here and any Dutchman or Belgian could correct me. I was mostly seeing french fries and pancakes when I was living in uh, Amsterdam, so... And no ketchup with the french fries, it was just mayonnaise, which I hate, by the way, so that didn't really go well for me. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add too much more to the, the main body here. Like I'm just gonna add an extrude I guess to make it more thick because this Part will speak for itself, the um, folding out thing. This one I already fixed. Yeah, and this is supposed to be like a place where you put vials, but we're not exposing that, so that doesn't really matter the inside. What matters is that it looks like there is an inside here, as we're not opening that side. I mean, we could have folded this one even more back and flapped it over here to expose this part. Mm, now we're having second thoughts here. Do I want to do that? Or is it enough with the vials here? I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm looking at the reference, there's so many... There's so many pictures to pick from. Like what I'm going for is more... It's like this flap here, but in a combination with like exposing the underside. So it would be like this here, as you can see, where it's like 
if one of them is still on the on the bottom and the other one is like lifted up by its own folding out mechanism. But then this is the flap that I've been going for. But to make it a little bit more interesting, but it's folding out, then you need to, as you can see here, fold this part up. Uh, so I've just like folded that one up, but not really more than that. So yeah. What do you guys think? What should I do here? Should I expose the top as well with the vials in there, or should I just go for this? Grass grows. I guess that's the Mayo that, that you follow as grass, right? Oh, bronze, why does that one have to be scary to send in applications to the studio? I don't know, because people are judging you, I guess? That, that's the scary part for me, at least. And that you will be forever banned if you wrote something wrong. I don't know. That's what <laughs> that's what I felt when I've been applying, at least. Probably not helpful, right? Probably not. Avrax is saying, expose the top. Is there only one person who has a vote in this? Uh, it's me down <laughs> uh, If it is, it's a game asset or a high poly standalone. Uh, it's uh, going to be a game asset, so I'm making the high poly right now, and then it's going to be a low poly in the end. Magnus is also exposed to top. Oh, and you also wrote a big pink shock of text. What's more important, that it looks good or it's a PBR? Correct. For instance, if I'm doing the doctor's kit and there's a small locket of silver, but I added a grime on them as they usually... That's usually what happens when uh, they... when it gets used. Uh, but what is technically not... But that's not technically metal, so I made it not metal, but it looks horrible, so I made it metal and it looks better, but it's not correct. <laughs> Okay, uh, so if I'm interpreting this uh, scenario right, you have a metal part which you want to have dirt on, uh, and dirt is not metal, uh, so that shouldn't be met uh, metallic then, it shouldn't have a metal mask if that's what you're asking, uh, but I assume why it looks horrible um, is because there is a metal mask masking out that, so the transition between the dirt and the metal is getting like an edge, I assume? In that case, if you're getting an edge, um, you should use, use like grey middle value. So we know that a metal mask should be like black and white, but there is nothing really uh, in real life that is like is pure metal and pure dirt and no transition in between, there's always going to be that transition area. So uh, I would like use grey values on that edge, uh, even if it's not really correct, um, because it's way worse to use metallic mask with dirt than doing that transition, I would say. Um, but there's different ways of working, there are some engines handling that better than others when it comes to the transition in between, and some are not even using a metal mask. So, some are using uh, roughness and gloss, I think. Then you don't really have the same issue with the transition in between there, I think. But you did, do get like other issues with the metallic not being... Maybe giving the same sh shine, and that's why you use a speckler mask. A speckler input as well. I would say like a lot of things that we're doing right now are just trying to mimic like the correct PBR, but it's not necessarily 100% accurate rendering as for real life because it's hard for us to do that when we're doing artistic inputs as well. Exposing the top makes the <laughs> more interesting around like exposing top is against Twitch TOS. <laughs> oh minus, you're the art director. Oh sorry. Sorry. I forgot. You should definitely expose the top. 
if you feel like it. Oh, that's not really art director taking like a, a decision here now. You shouldn't say this if you feel like it. Um, I feel like if I do expose the top on adding more, like I'm, yeah, I'm doing more work, I guess, with this one because I was almost done with the top. But let's make a version of this um, where the top is exposed and see uh, how it looks in the incoming pattern. Hello, side effect. How are you doing? It wasn't that much of the edge, but it was the cavities where the dirt gathers. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. Hmm. Well... Yeah, that's a hard one, I would say. The dark... Cracks didn't look dark enough because they were not metal, but regular. <sighs> yeah, there's always some tricky scenarios to get right. I would say... If you know what you're doing, it's always okay to break the rules. Um, as long as you know that you're breaking the rules and you're doing it because you know the end result would be better. So. You can always bend and break the rules, but you need to understand why and what you're doing, I would say. You will never know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Neither do I, so don't listen to me. But yeah, when people ask me stuff like that, I'm like, if you know what you're doing, or like, you have a, at least a hum on what you're doing, then just break the rules of PBR. I mean, you're an artist, you're supposed to make it look good, right? Uh, side effects, you're doing okay, but it's weird, it's isolation. Yeah, I think uh, everyone would agree, like, we uh, humans need uh, other people, right? Um, I also feel it's a bit weird to sit at home um, and not seeing people, not having routines, or saying hello to people in the corridor and office and so on, so I get you. That's why it's important to still be in contact with people or get a web camera so you can see people and they can see you. It's me then had there is some sort of eldritch terror tentacle on your screen. <laughs> I have some curves uh, and other things going on here. Yes. I have a I have a cat here. This is helping with isolation. I don't think he is enjoying it too much, right? No, he's stuck with me all the time. Stuck with me all the time, right? Yes, you are. Oh, poor kitty. Poor kitty. He's saying hello to you guys. He's like, hello. 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 He's like, oh god, human, what are you doing? Please pet my royal ass, right? Oh my god, there's so much fur everywhere. Well, I think he's enjoying uh, the room right now because there's so many uh, moving boxes. It's like a... It's like a fort, right, Kay? You can jump in all the boxes and break all the stuff. He's walking on one of my canvas... Um, Right, so that's a broken picture, for sure. I might get 20 cats and you'll be okay. Well, having pets is actually helping a lot. The first week I didn't have him here, but... Uh, because, as you guys are aware, my cat is usually living at my parents since I'm working a lot. So I don't feel it's right to keep him in the apartment alone. But now, when I'm at home in isolation, he's keeping me company, so it helps a lot. 
But I'm glad that uh, streams are helping you as well, side effects. It gets a little bit, I guess, more human contact than uh, having, like, Netflix running. Oh, Bronze, you had Fika in the Swedish game dev Discord? Oh, were you all, all eating, like, cinnamon buns? Like, by having a webcam in your faces? Going like, mom, mom. Yeah, but it's a... Uh, I think without my cat here, I would probably go insane. Uh, we would be climbing the walls going like, help, send help. Like now at least I have someone to talk to. He doesn't really respond though. He's just like... Well, he does respond. He's a very talkative cat, but I don't really understand what he's saying. And I doubt he's understanding what I'm saying when I'm talking about like work issues or how I'm supposed to solve things. So. Um, yeah, he's going like meow as an answer when I'm talking to him, always. That's nice. You're doing free topo now, Sidebeck. That is nice. Free topo is quite relaxing, but I, you know, hate it if I do it too long. Raz, my cat is my rubber duck, that's for sure. Okay, let's um, let's do a version where we have this one open as art director um, Magnus here said. I wonder if I can quickly make that Adjustment by just removing some of these things here. Hmm. What am I thinking about? Sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing. That would actually be a little loop over there instead. So it'd be going like this. You know, let's just remove that one and then we'll make a curve. Uh, create a curve. It's always easy to use through the box from that one. going to need this one here though, we can't just make a... make a uh, flap that is straight. Let's keep it there for now. Uh, I have a cube here, let's use it. Uh, 
Yeah, there is a few moments on the island where you almost lost it, as I described, like climbing the walls, going insane. Side effect, cats only talk to humans, not adult cats. <laughs> yeah, he looks at me weirdly if I go and talk with him in his own language, going like meow meow. Then he doesn't answer. Oh, Frost, you're also doing retopo? <laughs> That's smiley though, like, oh, boring. I'm glad I'm done with my retop on my um, previous uh, project, like the pop diorama. Man, that took ages. I don't want to do it again. But soon we are, anyway. Doing it again, and again, and again. so it would be as big as this one um, and now it is at least That works kinda. Cool it would be to talk to animals though that would be amazing then i would at least know what they want when they are like meowing at you looking displeased like what are you thinking that would be nice to know best confirmation ever let's see what did you post Shaman don't look. <laughs> How that's nice that they have that. Good luck with your application, bronze. Arusia, my cat yelling at me doesn't leave much imagination for body language. <laughs> Human talk is irrelevant to the speak doggo language out oh, to a dog and cat language to a cat. Maybe I should just sit down and start licking my feet. That's what my cat usually does. Would that communicate with the cat in a good cat language way? I don't know. He's sleeping now. He's like cuddled up all like a little fur ball in the sofa. Some with this one, so you guys can judge and see what you what you think about having it open and non open.
Oh, right, we need to combine it for doing that first. Yes, we should actually then also make a hole in this one so it's easier to judge. There we have it, and then we have. Um, where did that one go then? Is that this one? No. We need to find the other flap <laughs> that we have here. Didn't make a copy of it. Where did that end Is this one? Oh, this is the one. thing. We can move it here. Okay, now we have two of them. Which one is the most interesting one now then? We have the open flappity flap. And we have the closed one here. And now racks open. Side effect that was unbelievable fast. <laughs> uh, I, th I think you could probably have done it faster in some way, but. Uh... Oh, fact! I was like, yeah, that's not really fast that I did. Open for sure. Flippity flap. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to call it. Flap? annoying Magnus to say you should open up the other end so you can show off the other side as well. Uh, but I want to have the asymmetry in there, so like how it would look like if it's closed with this here, like just a peak of what's inside, and then exposing the other side and having the height difference in here, so... So yeah, not gonna, I'm not gonna go for that one, Mr. Art Director. I'm gonna have to decline your request of changes. Uh, but yeah, it seems like people are uh, saying that this one is the better. The one that is open. Oh, 
until 100. <laughs> I'm gonna take a snapshot of this. And save it to my VIP. Well, that's the wrong project. Post it in Discord later, guys. You do read top side if I can, then the steam stream stutters when you do the polygon. Oh, that's that's bad, right? <laughs> My computer dies when I try to do many things on it. Remember to delete history. It's deleted. But yeah, deleting the history in Maya is a useful thing. Minus, as you pointed out, with like maybe helping with performance and stuff. Bronze, you would be raking this up and make a horse to put it on and animate it all though, right? <laughs> you, you want me to make a horse? Shouldn't I have started making the horse and then put the saddlebag on the horse then? Because now the horse will definitely not fit in between this one in the flap here. Oh, you guys, you're demanding too much of me. Make a horse, he said. Oh, do, do I look like a character modeler to you? Uh, let's see. Old flap. Old flap. And then we hide it. Oh, damn, you seem to have a really good setup, side effects. 32 GB RAM. Learn Houdini and simulate the jiggling of the flask in the liquor, but also rig a horse and animate it. <laughs> oh, there are different departments now, Browns. Bag, Ava, and Horse Ava department. Hence, you need to deal with it all. In Included, including miscommunications. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna make a horse and try to fit the, the bag on top of the horse. That sounds as uh, too much hassle. But now when we have figured that out, it didn't really change that much for this. It was more like this flap. We can continue, I guess, with the extrusion here. I wonder if I do it outwards. Yeah, no, I don't make it too, too big. I could just flip the normal sun. I think I forgot to... Yeah, I think I forgot to delete the other... Let's see, let's go back. Uh, 
Let's see, can I do the reverse and then... Yeah, that's more accurate. That's more what I was looking for. But I am getting a lot of issues, so it might be better to scale it. I should probably start adding some support edges to this one as well. Everyone see what's threatened when you unsubscribe from Patreon, but you really need that mentorship once it becomes available, and you also need a better GPU. Period. If if not, we can never lose in Battlefield. Oh yeah, well I have my uh, work computer behind me, <laughs> and that one had Battlefield. I might actually be able to take that time and uh, play that. Maybe. Amirua! Welcome back! Hello, how are you doing? Evil laughter, and you can unsell from Patreon. Your master plan is completed. <laughs> dot dot dot. Still need a mentor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still figuring out how that will be uh, working. I'm gonna post a um, a suggestion. Well, not one suggestion, but multiple of them. And I guess you guys will have to vote in Discord, like what. What format would be the best? Because I have some different ones in mind, but I can't really decide like what actually people would think would be the best actually, like what they would be benefiting the most from. So I'm working with uh, Aslan on figuring that out. So we will get back to you guys once we figure it out. All out. Either way, it's gonna be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Way good way of selling it. Uh, but I've seen like some people doing mentoring and like some people do it through Cubra, some do it through Patreon, some people do it through, I don't know, Twitch even. So I'm just looking at the different ways people are doing mentoring and seeing what actually people are asking from them as mentors because you know, if you sign up for doing a mentoring, it's not just a mentor it's also the mentee's responsibility to drive the mentorship. Like, 
it's impossible to help someone who doesn't really want to um, you know be helped or actually stay communicate with the co like doing communication or doing assignments or just actively working on feedback and stuff so it's like it's equally a lot of work put into from both and both from the mentee and the mentor so it's like sometimes I wonder if people are prepared of like actually putting in the work so that's why I want to post some suggestion and see like what do people actually look for and what do they want to have with the mentoring Everyone's if I run over bond of me and it's like uh, No, it's just that last one is uh, I don't know. We've been working with stuff like this together before, so it's just naturally talking about it. Oh and this hard time side of it you got a job offer for a job in uh, Sweden? Oh, you actually got a job uh, offer here in Sweden. <gasps> move side effects, move to Sweden. We have cinnamon buns and Ikea and really harsh and cold winters. <laughs> That's not really selling it, I guess. Uh, hello, Lirido, uh, Liridon. If I know if DICE takes pitches for publishing, no. They probably get a lot of emails, um, people who get the emails about that, but no, they're not they're working on their own game projects. I think if you want to do a pitch for publishing, it's better to contact Paradox or Coffee Stain. Coffee Stain is a publisher and Paradox is a publisher. So, loads of ABBA. Is that selling point, Bronze? Loads of ABBA. The one thing you're not looking forward to when you move to Scandinavia is winters. Yeah, no. I'm not looking forward to them either, and I have to suffer every year. It's like, where did the sun go? Will the sun ever come back? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I putting myself through all of this darkness? I should just move to a place where they have sun. And then the summer comes, you're like, why did I even ever think about moving? This place is great. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, you will have those like... I guess roller coasters of emotions when the dark darkness comes. I'm saying that I, if I don't love Abba bronze, no, I'm sorry, I'm not that typical sweet. I love uh, Kenneth Buller uh, as Masaki is pointing out. Can I bulle? The cinnamon buns. Those are nice. Sounds like Canada with extra steps. <laughs> you also have those roller coasters of emotions going through, going like, why? Why am I living here? What am I doing here? Every year the same. be a little bit tighter this one so need some more support
this time, right? So what do we have up here? Oh, we need a bench here. Probably an edge here. Because we're going to copy this one to this one. We're just going to move the flap layer and make it look like this. So we have the inside exposed. If polar nights are present throughout all Sweden, you know in Norway only the really north part, like Alta, experience that. Uh, it's only, only the northern parts. I mean, I think it happened like in really, really rare cases that the middle, middle of Sweden also like have something, but it's very rare. So it's like, yeah, definitely the northern parts if you want to see them. But it's a long travel. Like Sweden is quite large. It's not like a big country, but uh, the width and the sheer size of Sweden is quite, you know. It's like a long drive if you want to go up from north, uh, from Stockholm, or like the, I guess the southest part from uh, Sweden and up to the, just the northern part. I think it's like 24 hour drive. It's not anything like the States or Canada or anything like that, but for being uh, as few people we are, it's quite, quite big in, I guess in a sense. If you put... Oh, Aslan, is that true? If you put a pin at the bottom of Sweden and flip it over, it reaches Africa? Oh, really? Like... Actually the length of the entire Europe, you mean? Oh, it's the distance, Ras. Definitely the distance, it's not because of the terrain. We have uh, pretty good roads here, so... I think that's a little bit better, more snuggled, I guess.
I'm Aslan, getting all the facts. Sweden is about 100,000 square kilometers larger than Germany. Damn. Stockholm for six months, but he had to go on Brother was sick. But it's good to know that he's uh, doing okay now. Did you like Solera for those six months that you did? We're in Rome, yeah. Oh, I know where that is. Oh, you have the horse talk. <laughs> I'm sad that you had to move, but I think it sounds like uh, it all ended very well. And I mean, Stockholm is still here, it's probably gonna be for a while. I think it's time for me to pop off because um, I have uh, promised people to stay around in Discord and do some art talks on Tuesday off the stream. So in order to get some time for that, um, I'm gonna start rounding off the stream. So I have done a lot more like high poly modeling in Maya than I was originally planning to, but I think for this asset it's quite... Yeah, it's easier to do it in here with all the curve tools and stuff that I have and I, you know... We can always go in and uh, make it a little bit more organic in ZBrush at the later point and add all of that wear and tear and scratches and stuff. Like one thing here, for example. That is something that I will add with like a smooth brush later on and like making it a little bit uneven and so on and so forth. But so far it's been easier to do the, all, all of these shapes in Maya. Um, so what we're gonna do is to continue fixing all of the rest little things. Um, so they are done. Uh, thickening these up and then it's just a matter of like copying this over to this side. Um, because I do want to have some sculpt differences on, on them. Um, so we're going to use the same base, but then we're going to sculpt it a little bit differently to get a little bit, you know, varied look in here um, to make it more interesting since it's just like a single prop. It will be the same with all the vials later. You can see here how you have different corks. I'm not going to make all of the variations, but I will baking, you know, make a little bit so. Like this cork here is quite cool because it's like not straight anymore like the other ones, it's more shipped away. So making a cork like that and one that is sticking up, one that's a little bit more clean. So we can put them in, you know, different heights um, to get the, a little bit of variation in. And not all of these pockets will be filled with the vials either. We will have some of them standing on the side like in this picture. I'm not sure what I should put in them, if any at all, but we'll see. So yeah, I guess next time I'm gonna just continue a little bit like this and then it's done to do the, the sculpt, I guess. But yes, uh, 
I will be popping off and uh, for those who want to hang out in Discord and uh, just talk for a little while working, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. I'll be hanging out in our talk one uh, for a little while. So thanks for popping by and keeping me company and I hope you guys are taking care of yourself uh, right now uh, in this uh, well, difficult times with some people have more restrictions of going outside than others and you know depending on where you are in the world and um, we will get through this together uh, like you guys are what's keeping me not going insane in my own loneliness here so I will be there for you as well and uh, take care everyone sleep tight and uh, the rest of you I see you in discord I will uh, talk to you later stay safe everyone Bye-bye.